What's up guys, it's a behind the scenes exclusive. I'm here with um, Shay Official and Seth Sexy as f Castle. Hey, this is the second time I almost forgot to record. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Wait, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm so out of touch, bro. That's how you know I haven't been to the Philippines. So, uh, now I'm back. I'm back with the Pro Poly Biters. And yours truly. Uh, we're gonna give uh, Sand McLight a try. First time trying uh, Sand McLight uh, for the Pro Poly Midas. I've obviously had this in the Philippines. One of my favorite go to beers in the Philippines. These should be twisties, from what I remember. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> That's strange. Maybe it's because they're imported, they're not twisties. You reckon that's got something to do with it? Uh, I think it does, sir. I think it so, does. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, cheers, bro. Cheers, uh, bro. Enjoy. Alright. You do the honors. Like I said before, you gotta give it a bit of a, a bit of a snuff. Ah, the yeast is pretty strong in this one. Alright, here we go in for the first tongue taster. Ah! That's very nice. You can taste the low carbs. <laughs> the low carbs, my bad. You can taste the low carbs in this. And it tastes just a bit healthier, you know, because it's a bit more bitter. <laughs> now oh. we're going to go in for a, uh, a full drink, just to, uh, you know, let it sit, let it set, and let it soak. First and foremost, I would like to say that, uh, San Mig, you've done one hell of a job creating a lower carb <laughs> beer. Man, this is pretty good, you know? Let me tell you something, let me tell you something, you know? The yeast doesn't sit too far on the back of the tongue, but it sits on this left side right here, so it's got more of a bitterness to it. But however, <sighs> yep, yep, the after breath, after breath, after taste, it's quite stronger than the red oh. horse right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you know the red horse, they like to gallop, they like to no. disappear. But because this is sand mix, it likes to just sit there in your tongue and just, you know, fonder upon the taste. Yeah. Now I'm going to go in for a second test because you have to go in for a second test. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. You've got to double check your work, you know. If you're not sure, ask your manager. They did the double checking for you. That's what I'm doing right now. Let me just have a burp first. The burp don't want to come out. Here we go. Man, he's a good man. Bloody good man. Ah. <laughs> Tastes a little bit spicy, to be honest, if you ask me, mate. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit burning on the tongue, but um, hey, it's probably because I've had too many long whites, but <laughs> yes. if it wasn't for the long whites, mate, this right here. This right here is some good stuff, so I recommend you buy it, but drink responsible, you know, don't drink and drive. That's the one, bro. If you're the under the age of 25, don't drink it all. Don't worry about me, I'm only 24. <laughs> don't worry about me. Don't worry about don't me. Worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's good, eh? No <laughs> nice. worries. Polly Midas. Ouch. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's solid, bro. We've still got the red horse. We're going to leave it there because I wanted to try the sand light while I'm still in somewhat of a sofa state. Right, let's give it a smell. <sighs> Smells exactly how I remember. Cheers. <sighs> yeah, there it is. It does taste a bit lighter than the Red Horse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I know why we're able to drink so much of this because it just it goes down trees. It's almost like water to an extent. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. Just you know, it's got the yeast. Yeah, you can't taste the yeast. It's got that flavour still there, and you can. Allow yourself to drink a bit more than usual and keep you on a bit of a buzz. So. Mm. Let's have one more. <sighs> that is actually really good. Now that I'm drinking them side by side, I've never done the side by side with these two. Um, I'm starting to <laughs> be unable to acknowledge the strength of this beer because it's 8%. So, I'm gonna try. Good. It's good. Red it's good. It's a giddy up. It's me. a giddy up. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up. I don't even know if that's a song. Mate, 
But yeah, drink responsibly. I want to have some more people try uh, you guys' uh, favorite homegrown beers. And we'll see you in the next, next clip. What's up, guys? It's a uh, behind the scenes exclusive. I'm here with um, Shay Official and Seth Sexy as f Kassim. I'm here live and exclusive. Um, we're just hanging out, having a few drinks, except for the bro chef. Respects to him, he's uh, he's relaxing and uh, just had a good day. But I'm here with a background behind the scenes kind of a uh, interview. They're in the room right now. They're trying to discuss what's going on in the uh, in the studio and how the setup is and everything like that. But I'm just uh, here just to let you guys know that uh, we're kicking off, mate. Hit it for the top. We ain't never gonna stop in this game called hip hop. <laughs> is it on? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna try and sneak up between them while they're talking right now just to see how their reaction is gonna be on camera. Wish me luck. Actually, take a photo like that. Wait, yeah. he stands out even more. Yeah. How do you know you can do that? Yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. Yeah. Let me just take that photo again. Surprising. That's um, Shay's lighting. They don't know I'm here. Even though I'm uh, not really used to doing these kind of videos, I've never done a video before. But I am um, doing a reaction to Seth, sexiest Kasim, and his first reaction inside Shay's studio room and let me tell you it's one hell of a journey so wow well, that wraps our video for tonight you can see and i can see some pretty intense conversations going on there talking about some logos i think i might need to get me one but uh hit that like hit that subscribe share hit that bell do what you need to do youtube Heard it up because we out here we out here in perth and we're trying to let y'all know out in the world that we out here now poly midas we out. Six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. Tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rode down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was kidding. I was kidding. You were all for you. But you don't feel the same way for me. I cool my search in the bottom moon. But I can't call you my baby boo. I couldn't do more. I could make like more. It hurts so much sometimes. It makes me cry. I couldn't do more. I could really move, but I realize you can never be mine. 
Back in the days when I sit down and I memorize All the things I don't wanna do, I just reminisce All the things I ever wanted to be and I never wanted to be I wanted to grow up and get up the history Cause everything the adults wanted to do All I wanted to be was better than you But then I, everything you did to me hurt me so deep That everybody thought that I was going to breathe Cause I'm like an ocean, I'm trying to keep it real I'm trying to keep it flowing, but I don't know what is real Because I'm trying to be, everybody calls me still I'm trying to keep it hot, but I know that I'm not hot I'm trying to aim for the top, I'm never gonna stop Cause I know that this is the game of hip hop But every time that I get low, I go real slow Cause when I'm low, I'm trying to get say, it with the flow now uh, I didn't go up much, I usually stayed home Friends invited me to parties, I be busy writing poems in my own world I switched off my cell phone, I learned a lot of times he won't miss it right until it's gone Take for instance when my granddad passed away, I wish I got to know him more. I kept crying that day. If you've lost someone before, you probably know what I mean. Feels like you want to wake up from a really bad dream. Yeah. I'm biggest Ed Sheeran fan. Love can hurt sometimes, but it's the only thing. Yeah. You know it can get hard sometimes. But it's the only thing we take with us when we die. Yeah, that's nice. It feels nice, bro. I'm in shades. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. When I see these stars in the room, it reminds me of you. I don't know, I'm just making my words. <laughs> So I heard you're Filipina <laughs> And you could be my ballerina <laughs> Well I don't speak Tagalog But I see a dictionary on the table And I know I'm not signed to any record label But people always think I'm from Davao or Manila and right now I wanna lick you like vanilla, <laughs> vanilla ice cream hey. Baby you could be my one, baby you could be my one Yeah, 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 yeah I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to say That's good, man
What's up guys? It's Polly Midas. We're about eight beers in from the Red Horse and let me tell you something. Starting to kick in like a horse. If you don't know what kicking means, you go behind the horse and you try and pat it between the tails. It will start kicking in. Cause let me tell you something. Life's too short. LTS. L T S. Life's too short. I'm here joined with um, the main man. The man himself. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's I'm, Shay. I'm feeling We're hey, feeling hey, it right let's now. Keep it, let's keep it real right now. Um, so we, we had some people, we invited some people around tonight. Didn't go according to play. No, it didn't. So, uh, Nobody showed up. Yeah, Even so, though we invited yeah. them. Yes, no money, yes, yes, no yes. cost or anything. No, All we wanted was their presence, they're, but they they're, did they're, not they're, show up. They're, they're just being this, and it doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber. None of this shit matters. You know, if people don't show up, if people don't care for you like that, then you know, that's... It's probably like the last time you should probably be around those people. <laughs> so, it doesn't faze me because the most important people were here tonight. So, that was the creatives. That's the bow right there. Polly Midas and the bro from Sav Chasm. And notice how they're all creatives. They're the people that I can relate to the most. And if Dan was in Perth right now, he would be here too. Ate Rachel. All the creatives, they would be here right now. So I, I take this as a lesson learned. Stick to the creative vibes. We'll stick to the red horse vibes. And we're, we're gonna go out tonight. We'll have a good night. Probably the last invite anyone's gonna get to this house. <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep it creatives only. <laughs> Musicians and content creators only. We can't hang around with normal people. That's it, because the only reason why we don't hang out with normal people is because they're not on our level. They're not, they're you not, know? They're not on our level, like mentally, the, creatively. Mentally, creatively, they're not on our level. The, 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 the difference between what we want and what we expect is that um, what we expect is something that we can't live without because it's a moment that will just come through in life and it's time that we can never get back. And all we wanted was them to come through and show that they have the effort or anything just to show up and show their face. But no, they did not want to come tonight because they said that they're broke, that they got no ride, that they don't want to come through, that they live too far. Bro, what kind of excuses is that? All we want is someone to show their face. They don't even have to be here more than a minute. As long as I know is that they come through, we're showing us, yeah. With that being said, Giddy up, giddy up, get your saddle ready, cause we're about to break through that saddle and we're about to let that stallion ride. Polymidas.